Hello. Goodbye. Hello there. Today we're going to unbox AMD's Cavery APU, the newest flagship APU processor. And there it is. Swanky! Um, the system it's going to go into is uh, a custom made system that you've probably seen in our other videos. Um, we've got the A10 6800K in it at the minute. And we're just going to upgrade the motherboard to revision number two, so the uh, A88 rather than A85. But today, we're going to just, I'm going to unbox this processor and just see what, the, what comes in the packaging, really. And then, the second video, part two, we'll do the installation of the processor into the system there. We'll use some Arctic Silver to transfer the heat across from the processor to the water cooling block. Let's get cracking! Right. Let's unbox this product then. Oh yeah. So this is the processor. Um, it comes in a nice snazzy box, just like the A10 6800K did. Same size, same shape, same cooler inside I'd assume. Um, nice, simple packaging. Really heavy bit of kit actually for what it is. You can see it's the A10 6800K. Very nice, with a 4 gigahertz maximum turbo speed, 4 meg cache, but this can tap into your, your RAM, so it's sort of a unified sort of way of doing things. Um, built in R9 graphics, but we're not really fussed about that because we've just gone to the R9 290 in the system. So we're hoping that this won't bottleneck as much as this is at the moment. This A10 is bottlenecking that GPU in my opinion, um, especially on things like Battlefield 4. So we're going to put this in in the second video, but let's unbox it. So, get a set of keys and unbox the processor. So, one thing I love about AMD, the processors always come in nice boxes. Intel's do as well though, to be fair. Um, they come in a bigger box. Um, I kind of prefer the stock cooler from AMD than I do to Intel's. Um, I just prefer the square design, cube design, rather than rounded design. So in the box we get our instruction manual uh, and basic information about the thing. I don't know why you even need this, but suppose if you're building your first computer, it tells you how to put the CPU in its socket. Just like that, a little lever, give a little bit of instructions there. Put that aside. You get your cooler. So these are just stock coolers. They look like that. Pretty basic to be honest. They're not. I mean, in my opinion, like if you're going to build a system with this processor, although you get a cooler with it, I would replace it anyway. I mean, it'd be great to use for I don't know, a month or so, but you'll notice that this is quite loud. It's not very efficient. It gets very hot. It's not good for overclocking at all. Um, you, the heat dissipation is terrible, really, from these. I don't know why they give you them. I guess it's just a basic design. It makes it loud, though. That's the thing. Like if you're building an office computer, you wouldn't want to hear this all day going all day long. Um, I'd upgrade to a water cooling design or just simply an aftermarket cooler, to be honest. They're quite a simple design, you just lapse them over and then lock it in place. It's quite simple, really. Now let's get to the processor, the brain itself. So they give you a nice little sticker for your case, which is nice to see. And obviously the processor itself, so that's what it looks like on the sort of the top of it where your heat, heat sink would sit and your thermal compound. See my GoPro flashing in the background there. Uh, and the reflection. <laughs> so these processors are made in China and then diffused in, in Germany. It says on the front here. You can see it says A10 7800 series on the top, and it's obviously serial number and stuff and when it was made, the date. Uh, we're in 2014 now, so I'm a bit actually a bit concerned. That's quite you know over a year old. But oh well, we'll give it a go and see what we get. So and that's the back. You see little pins on it, loads of little pins that sit in the socket. Awesome! So, yeah, that's what you get in the box. It's a basic overview of what that processor comes packaged like. Um, yeah, we keep ourselves easily entertained there. Um, same sort of design, 
you know, there's the A10 6800K. The A10 6800K is a 4.4 max turbo with a 4.1 base. It's 1 gigahertz slower in theory overall. Um, so we'll see. Um, we'll see how it performs. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Uh, the next video, so make sure you check part two out. That is going to be the installation of the um, that this processor into this motherboard. Um, I've already put the, the board in there with the new graphics. It's just too long as a project to put as a video. It's taking too long. Um, let's get cracking. Thanks for watching. See you later.